One of the major data engineering tasks involves moving data from on-premises or cloud-based data platform to another for downstream analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Azure Data Factory to copy data from Google Cloud Storage accounts to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Therefore, let's get started. I'm going to come to my cloud platform and this is my console.cloud.google.com. So I want to create a bucket. bucket. Bucket basically allows me to store different kind of data sets, including files, pictures, images, and so on. So I want to click on this navigation menu and we can see all the products. I want to click on cloud storage and then click on bucket. For now, I've got no bucket created. So I want to click on create bucket. And then we can give this a meaningful name. Let's just call it sales 101 bucket. This should be unique. And I want to click on continue. We can specify the bucket location. So this is going to be multi region by default, and that's pretty fine. Just click on continue. And then we can specify the storage class for our data set. This is going to be set a default a class. So we're going to scroll down and then click on continue. And then we can prevent unauthorized access to our data set. So we want to enforce public access prevention on this bucket because we don't want to expose our data set. So we want to scroll down and then click on continue and then we can specify the data protection. This is going to be seven days soft delete. So we can even increase if you like. So this is going to be fine for us. Go down and then click on create. And then we're going to see again, public access will be prevented. And of course, this is fine. So click on confirm. All right, sales 101 bucket created so we can go ahead and upload the file i'm going to come to this csv file basically i've got this small data set that contains some few columns date to the sales amount columns so i want to come to my cloud platform and then click on upload files and then i want to browse through the location double click on the location and in three or few seconds depending on the file size that should be uploaded and there we go sales from gcs to azure data lake storage and tool file uploaded Beautiful. Now, before we go to our portal.azure.com, we want to come to our settings. And of course, we want to come to the interoperability tab and we can see our storage URL. I'm going to scroll down. And of course, we need default project for interoperable access. So this should be enabled. So you can click on this create a key for another service if you want to, but this should be enabled. And we need access to a key and a secret key. So this is created. I can delete this and create a new one by clicking on this, create a key. So a new one is going to be generated automatically for me. And of course, I need this information in my portal.azure.com in the Azure Data Factory pipeline. So we are done for this. And I'm going to come over to my portal.azure.com. And of course, I've got this ADLS resource created. Now in the resource, I've got what's called my storage account, Fabric Shortcut 101, and the Azure Data Factory created. So I want to come into the Fabric Shortcut 101 storage account so we can see the type storage account. Beautiful. I can come to these containers and in the containers, I've got this Fabric container created. So I want to create a new container. I'm going to call that one. Um, GCS for Google Cloud Storage Data. And of course, this should be a lowercase, not capital letter. It should be a lowercase for it to be accepted. Click on Create. And then that is created. I can click on that. And I can even create a file directory. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to call this one Sales Data. You can call it anything. Of course, this should be in lowercase. And then click on Save. And then we have the Sales Data directory. Now, this is going to be where we're going to sync or land our data set from the Google Cloud Storage account. That's beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go back to my resource so I can click back on this ADLS resource. And then we want to launch our Azure Data Factory. So that's been created. So click on that and then we can launch the Azure Data Factory Studio. Click on launch and then that's gonna be launched. And then we can create our data pipeline to move the data from the Google Cloud Storage account to the Azure Data Lake storage account. So this is open and then I can click on this pencil, this auto, and then I can see this pipeline under the factory resources. I can click on this horizontal ellipses and then I want to choose new data pipeline. And of course, I can see all the activities. Now under the move and transform, I want to set for copy data and I'm going to drag onto the canvas. So I can collapse this, I can collapse this. They are not needed for now. And then in the copy data activity, I can give this a meaningful name. Let's call it get data 
from GCS and I'm going to come to the source. Now for the source, I'm going to click on new and then in the new, I can look for the new data sets. Now this is going to be our Google Cloud storage account. So we can search and then click on continue. And of course we can choose the format of the file. Now our data set that is uploaded into the GCS bucket is a the limited text so we want to choose this csv comma separated value and then we want to click on continue and then we can create a link service to our bucket in google cloud platform so i want to click on this drop down and i want to click on new so this has been created let's click on new and then let's call it this one google cloud storage data movement and then we can give a description that that's not needed for now now for the connect via integration runtime it's going to be auto resolve integration runtime and then we need the access key ID and the secret access key. So I'm going to come back to my settings under the interoperability. I'm going to see my access key. I'm going to double click, control C to copy. I'm going to come to my data factory and I'm going to control V to paste in the data pipeline. And then for the access, I'm going to come back here and then copy the secret key. I'm going to come back and then paste the secret access key. And that is fine. Now for this to work, you must ensure that commanding tome and so on is checked. So this should be turning great. Otherwise, you're going to get an error when you want to create the link service in the Azure Data Pipeline. So let's go back there. Now I can go ahead and test the connection and this should return connection successful before we can proceed to the next stage. Beautiful, that is working fine. Click on create. And then we've created link service to our Google Cloud account. That's lovely. And we can specify the name of our bucket and then the directory and the file. I can click on this browse and then because there's a link service, I can see the sales 101 bucket. The same thing in the bucket, I can see we have the same name. So this should correspond and I'm going to choose that. And then I want to click on the sales data from GCS to Azure Data Lake. Dot csv click on that and click ok and that's fine so we can go ahead and click ok so we've created the soft link service and that's working pretty fine so these are pretty you know not needed for now now i want to come to the sync so we want to land data in our azure data link storage tool so i want to click on new and then i can set for the new data set so i'm going to set for azure data link storage gen 2. now before i do that i'm going to come to my fabric 101 and of course i want to create a special container for that data set coming from the gcs so in my storage account i'm going to come to this storage account and click on containers and then i can click on create a new container and then i can give this a meaningful name let's just call it gcs data transfer okay oh, this should be in lowercase so it should be lowercase transfer and then this should be acceptable and then click on create so we have the gcs data transfer i can delete this i don't need this so i'm going to delete and then i can go and delete so click on confirm delete that's done so i want to click on the gcs data transfer i've got we have no data sets so i want to click or create a directory in form of folder so click on add directory let's call this one sales data and then click on save and that is saved so we have the sales data directory and it's going to be where we want to land the data set so i'm going to come back to my azure data factory and then i'll set for the azure data leak storage gen 2 click on that and then click on continue and then we can choose the text file so i want to choose the comma separated value and then click on continue and then we can give this a meaningful name now let's just leave it as a default i want to create a link service to our in the LSG2, click on that and I want to choose new. And then for the new, I can give this one a name. Let's just call it Azure Data Lake Storage Data. And this should be acceptable. You can give this a meaningful description, that's fine. And then for the connect via integration runtime, this should be auto resolve integration runtime. And then for the authentication type, it's going to be key. And then we can specify the account selection method. This is going to be from Azure subscription. So I want to choose my subscription. I'm going to choose Virtual Studio Enterprise subscription and then i can go and give this a beautiful name the storage account name so this is fabric short code 101 and then that is done i can see the test connection is going to be to link service and then we can test the connection and of course this should be successful to move forward there we go amazing click on create beautiful so we've created the link service to our adls gen 2 and of course we can choose the file path i want to browse 
and then we'll point to the GCS data transfer container we created. So click on that. And then I can choose the sales data root folder, the directory we created, and then click on OK. And that is sorted. And then we can click on OK. So we've specified the sync. And we can see, we can even choose the copy behavior, but that's not needed for this you know, video. So we can move to the mapping. That's not needed. And then the settings. Now we don't need to do anything. But we can even choose the maximum data integration unit if you want, but it's going to be auto. And then we can come to the user properties. This is also not needed. So I can come or click on this validate. And of course, this should be fine. Your data pipeline has been validated. No errors found. Click on close. And then we can click on debug. And then when I click on debug, I can see that the data pipeline is running. And then let's see the activity. So it is queued. And let's see the results. Okay, there we go. Pipeline status succeeded. Succeeded. I can click on this activity name and I can see the flow, the details. And there we go. Everything is looking good. And we can even see the duration. It took 11 seconds. And then we can see the details. Beautiful. Now, I can come back to my storage account. So I can refresh. Let me just refresh the URL. And then we should be able to see the data in the sales data directory. So I can double click and there we go we have the sales data from gcs to azure data lake storage gen 2 beautiful so this is basically how we can perform this end-to-end -end data engineering tasks to move data from google cloud storage account to azure data lake storage gen 2 so i hope this video if you do like this video share with your friends comment and follow me for more data engineering videos thank you for watching bye for now